Hey guys, Mel the Train Shooter back in the studio and back with what I hope is the final instalment on High Peak Pass. <laughs> yes, we're cracking on and hopefully I want to get this painted up and snowed up this week. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Now, uh, if you're not aware of the project, we're about four p stages in. I've been converting the uh, Fright Frugurg. I don't even know how to say it. The, the Freiburg for, from foreground into something a little bit more impressive, which is this snowy mountain pass you can see here. Now, we've done most all the converting, the mountains are hilled, and you know, the more the mountains are done, and we're, we're sort of finishing off. So, we're at the painting stage, we're at the what you call it, we're at the, at, well, we're not the snow stage, but that's coming in this video. Now, between last video and this one, just for a quick catch up what I've done is I've gone round and I've cleaned up all the filler okay that was sort of got onto the MDF kit that was just a matter of hitting it with a wet rag letting it soak a little bit and then just coming and wiping it off dead easy the other thing that I did was on this tower here yeah you can see these what you call it how I filled the holes with milliput a little bit of masking tape on one side milliput in wipe it clean easy now i've got to touch those up with paint but i've got to touch up a few areas that i've converted and i've gone down to bare mdf and so we can come in and we'll do that later but my next jobs is i've got a couple i've got to go back in with the daz modeling clay and lay down the foundations for the deep snow okay now i should have done this at the foam stage but i want to include it as sort of a tutorial so i'm going to sort of do it i'm not going to explain too much about it because there's a full in-depth tutorial coming on that at the same time i want to get the mountains base coated because we're going to snow this up i'm going to go with a pretty dark gray and i'm not going to go ott and trying to make them too realistic because i'm going to be covering it with snow anyway and then the other thing I need to do is touch up the MDF and do a bit of pre-shading in corners and stuff like that. Once again, that's another thing that I'm doing a full tutorial on, so that'll be coming to the channel rather soon. Or if you're on a pa if you're a patron, it'll already be on Patreon if you're watching this video. Now, uh, did it, did it. one quick thing, just so you understand why I'm skipping over bits that I'm saying that, you know, I'll do this in a tutorial. One of the reasons for me doing these two by two projects is because I want to use them to demo certain techniques and film tutorials on th certain techniques. Now, other than the actual doing the mountains, there was nothing to sort of film tutorial wise. So we did a tutorial on the mountains, but we're at the stage where now, yeah, this is tutorial time so off the back of this i want to be looking at getting what do i want to be getting uh we've got the pre-shading and washing on the mdf kits we've got the deep snow we've got icicles we've got ice and there's something else that i can't remember i better remember sometimes snowing up buildings yeah that's it all right then right <laughs> now I know what I'm doing, I better get cracked on. So my next job is put a bit of deep snow down, do a bit of a shading and get the mountains base coated. So, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? It's cracking on time. See you in a sec, guys.
So we're cracking on and it is really coming together. Yeah, as you've seen by the photos. And if you come on down, the loves in it look beautiful. Right, let me take you through what I've done. Obviously I highlighted up the rocks. That was just, just lightening it up with a lighter grey into my base grey to take it up to a certain point. I've made a couple of mistakes where I've gone a little bit heavy. I'm not overly concerned with that because I know I'm putting snow on it. Now one thing I did do was, as I was doing the shading on the buildings, which I'll talk about in just a second, I also went in and I took the shade and I just quickly brushed it over the hills just to take it off that grey monotone. Now most of it's going to get covered up anyway, but it just feels more right for me right now, to be truthful. Now with regards to the shading of the building, as I said, there's a whole video and all that sort of stuff, but the shading's all done, all the washing's in, and it's looking rather dark and nice, yeah? I've really sort of accentuated the shadows and I've just spotted somewhere where I've missed. So I'll have to go in and sort that in just a second, yeah? So, on top of doing the shading, what I've also done is, as you can see, I've gone in and I've just done the general earth. Now, what I've done is I've done the, the major sort of road path and then the earth embankments. Majority of the ground I've left clear. This is because it's gonna have white snow over it. So there's no point browning it up to put white snow over it. So that's where I am right now. A couple of little touches of every time I, I look at this, I spot a, a bit where I could touch up there and I could touch up there. I'm gonna to have to call it a day at some point. Otherwise I'm not gonna get onto the next stage, which is what I want to do. Eee. Right, okay, so once I've finished touching up, what's the next stage, Boskull? Well, actually, it's quite simple. The next stage is, as part of snowing up, yeah, uh, buildings often get like a frosting, like snow blown over them, little specks and stuff like that. And it can really help to sort of blend your deep snow in with your normal sort of ground and that sort of stuff. It's like a transition line. So, how do you do this speckling? Well, one, I've got a full video coming on it as part of frosting up buildings. So if you want more in depth, yeah, There'll be a video on it. If you're a patron, it'll be a patron already. If not, it'll be coming to the channel rather soon, the next week or so. Yeah, but basically I'm gonna use a rattle can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray from somewhere up here and give it a bit of a dusting, okay? And that's just gonna come down, it's gonna settle, and it'll just give me a couple of spots. I've gotta go careful because obviously what I don't wanna do is blast anywhere because that could really screw things up round about now, to be perfectly honest, and I don't wanna do that. So I've gotta do this really carefully. But, you know, that's all there is to the frosting. So, I need to frost it up. Then what I need to do is I need to clean up my sides because they've got a bit dirty through the process. They always do. And then what I've got to do is finally give it a matte varnish. Now, the matte varnish is really important because the next stage on this will be adding the deep snow and all that sort of stuff. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And as part of adding the deep snow, uh, what do you call it? Sometimes paint can soak through the mixture and darken it, yeah? So before I add the deep snow, I want to seal it so there's gonna be no paint seepage and that sort of stuff. So that's the battle plan. A little bit of a, a, a dusting and then a, uh, paint the edges and then a sealing. And then once that's done, we're down to the last stages and fingers crossed, I will be ready for our open day, he says. I will, I will. Right, cracking on time. See you in a sec, folks.
So Mel has been a very, very, very busy boy. And I've cracked on and I've done all the dusting and the snowing and the snow substructure and all that sort of stuff. And it is looking beautiful. To be truthful, it's gone on for quite a little while, so I'm a little bit lost to where I am, what I said in the last clip, to be perfectly honest. But let me bring you up to speed. Now, if you take a look, you can see it's a massive difference. Obviously, we've gone in with the aerosol can and we've sprayed over. I've then gone in with an airbrush, okay? And I've sort of gone into all the little creases, uh, especially around this rampart and gone in this way. Something that the, that the aerosol can wouldn't do. Aerosols are great at getting, like, if you can get round something but if you've got nukes and crannies you know obviously it's a little bit more difficult airbrush works great in that you can stipple it and you can use a brush and flick it all the, the, the information is all in tutorials coming so i'm not going to go into too much detail but it's looking beautiful it really is looking beautiful now i am on the last of the snow jobs and my next job is ice now that means putting the ice on the roads the icy ground and doing icicles uh I'm not going to tell you really how I'm going to do those. They're going to be a mixture of sort of like Mod Podge and some other stuff and the icicles I'm going to use something else to do that. Yeah, because there's tutorials on them and that's the whole point. I don't want to give you all the information in this. It's a bit like when you went to your nan's house for tea and she wouldn't let you have a club biscuit before tea. Yeah, because it'll spoil your dinner. So, in true nan style, You'll have to wait and see how I, how exactly I do that. Don't worry, full tutorials. But my next job, let's get the ice on this. And then once the ice is on it, all I need to do is the deep snow and we're done. I think. I get to this thing when I'm, I'm doing projects as, a, as, I need the, as I'm near the end, where I almost, yeah, don't believe that I'm done. <laughs> it's like looking at it and you've got this, I'm, I'm missing something, I must be missing something. It can't be getting close to being done, but it is. So I'm going to get cracked on with this and I'll bring it back when it's all iced up. Maybe even snowed up, we'll see how we go. <laughs> see you shortly, guys. Well, looks a bit different, doesn't she? Yes, and I know what you call it that. You're gonna be angry with me because I didn't go in more detail with the snowing up and all the icing and all that sort of stuff. But remember, there's tutorials for that in the snow, ice and water playlist, yeah? So, all the techniques I've used on this are, on the, are in the videos in lots of depth in that playlist, guys. So if you wanna know the actual techniques and that sort of stuff, it's on there, but basically the icing was done with a mixture of Mod Podge and uh, crushed glass and some snow flock. Uh, I've, I put the icicles on with silicone. The, the, the whole thing was snowed up with a, a mixture of acrylic filler, uh, white, pe uh, white paint and snow flock and then sort of sealed and fixed in place with lacquer and this sort of stuff. But all the details, like I say, are in those tutorials for you guys. At the end of the day, this piece was specifically developed for me to do those snow tutorials. That's why I did it. So I couldn't do up-to-date snow tutorials. And they are my most up-to-date, with my most up-to-date knowledge. <laughs> now, I am at a stage where it is 11 o'clock at night. It is open day tomorrow. So I'm going to go and, what you call it, and show this beautiful, beautiful 
piece off. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So uh, here are some picks, and then let's wrap this up, eh? So there you have it guys, another project all done and dusted, another one under the belt and no doubt we'll be starting another one soon. But in the meantime, listen, I really hope you've enjoyed following me along on this mission to convert four grounds Freiburg for, I don't even know if that's how you still, even now I still don't know if that's how you pronounce it, into this amazing snowy pass. Yeah, now I'll always be honest, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's damn close. It is beautiful. And Mel is a happy chappy, a very happy chappy with it. So guys, I think it's time to wrap up this little project of ours and call it a day so we can get stuck into some more stuff. So guys, as always, yeah, uh, like it if you like it, share it if you know anyone to be, uh, find it useful. And if you've got any questions, any comments, any tips, anything you'd like to say, get down in the comments, guys. I always answer my comments, uh, especially the questions. Also, if you've got any tips for snow and stuff like that, always after learning, guys, you know what I mean? Now, on top of that, uh, if you have enjoyed this, guys, this is where I do my little punt at the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, guys, yeah, please consider jumping on one of the Patreon links on screen or down below. It keeps the lights on, the cameras rolling, and me in here producing content for you. And it's only a dollar a month, that's all I ask. Yeah, so please consider jumping on. It just helps me make more content for you. And remember, if you're not into the Patreon thing, then there's links to sort of PayPal for a one-off gift or my Amazon wish list if you'd like to buy something for the studio down below in the description. But in the meantime, Mel's a happy chappy and I will see you in the next video. All the best, yeah? ta -da.